Hello everyone. Welcome back to the um, Wisdom Center. In the previous uh, video, I showed you how to mark attendance on Google Classroom. And now in, in the current video, we're going to learn if we want to download um, the, that attendance of all the lectures uh, as a single page or a single sheet, what we can do for that. So uh, let's come to the topic straight. So I'm in, in this class. Here is a class where I've been creating attendances. You can see that here is an attendance and then another one. If I go to classwork, I can see all the attendances I have taken um, here. So from attendance number one to attendance number 12. Um, there is a little thing uh, that uh, you would be wondering in that video I didn't tell about uh, how to put all these attendances under one topic. Um, for that you can just create a topic for example uh, I, I'll just quickly show you to edit one attendance. If we go to this um, attendance number 12 and edit it we can see all the other options and here is the topic. So if you put all your attendances into a topic, you can create a new topic and, and as I have created and named it as attendances. So it will put all those attendances um, in one topic. So it will be tidied up and look beautiful and not just uh, attendance will be thrown everywhere in the classroom. So here are all the attendances if i look um, at some attendance 36 people turn in one is still assigned in this one 35 turn in so if i want to see um, all of these attendances as a report i need to and uh, i need to go to the grades if i go to the grades you can see that uh, here are the student names and uh, then uh, these are in, in the columns you can see all the attendances for different weeks so if I just hover over to this attendance on May 13 it says attendance lecture 12 this is was lecture 11 10 and and so on you can scroll to the right and you can see that it has a record of all the attendances um, in in this uh, grades section so in the rows you can see all the students while in the columns you can see all the attendances so uh, i have seen uh, an, another video on youtube where uh, someone has shown how to um, calculate how to print this sheet but um, there was a question from someone that uh, here points are shown so that points are just due to I'll come back to classwork. If I edit this attendance, I told you here that you have to put attendance as ungraded. So if you haven't done this ungraded, you will see that uh, it is it has something over 100 marks. So I don't think attendance has marks because in, in attendance either you are present or you're not. There's no option like you get 50 marks for the attendance. Either you get 100 or you get zero. So it, it, the best is to put attendance as ungraded thing. So I have put all the attendances as ungraded. And if you haven't, you can still edit the attendance and do it as ungraded if you want. So in the grades, um, it's the printing of this sheet is very simple. It uh, If you're using Google Chrome, it straight gives you the option of saving as PDF. I'm using Firefox. So I'll give it the print command. The shortcut key for it is control P. If I press control P, I see the print options here. So now you can either directly print it to your uh, printer if you want, or you can save it as a PDF. Um, I have this Foxit Phantom PDF printer or uh, there are other options like Microsoft uh, save print to PDF. This option is by default in the Windows. If uh, if you are in the Google Chrome, it gives its own option to save as a PDF. But um, here is the Microsoft print to PDF. If you want to set the page, you can do, go to the preferences and do the page settings. If you want it as a portrait or a landscape, um, 
it's better if we do as a landscape because there are quite a lot of columns in it and uh, in advance you can also change the paper size uh, what paper size do you want um, the, there are a lot of columns so I would prefer a legal size here just to have a better view of the the columns on the sheet so if I click OK and uh, now print it will ask me where to save the attendance and I have created a folder um, for attendance here if I save it it will just finish printing and then we can open and have a look at it so now we've got um, this uh, PDF file here which we just printed and if I open it you can see that um, we have got the printout of all the attendance uh, we have for these students so missing means absent and turned in means the student was present and you can also see that who have done late um, mean after the deadline or after the time you have set that a student should be marked late after this time so here are all the details you can see that it has printed the class on these three pages and uh, you can have a record of all these attendances um, I hope that uh, clarifies the situation and it's it's not a difficult task to do if you have any questions just uh, put in the comments and I'll get to you and if you have any suggestions or want me to make any more videos you can put in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed the channel just uh, do it now and uh, I'll see you later thank you and bye